Thank you very much. Uh, degree candidates, colleagues, honored guests, and friends. As the Dean of Graduate Education at UCLA, I'm delighted to welcome all of you to this doctoral hooding ceremony, a long-awaited and wonderful occasion for our graduates, their families, and friends. I would now like to introduce the distinguished members of the platform party. First, the faculty processional marshals, and then the deans and faculty participants who will read the candidate names and hood the candidates. Will you please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all have been announced? The faculty processional marshals are Gregory Payne, Senior Associate Dean for Biosciences Graduate Education, Wendy Slusser, Associate Vice Provost for the Semmel Healthy Campus Initiative, and the readers of the graduates' names will be James Bisley, Chair of the Graduate Council and Professor of Neurobiology and Psychology, Jessica Catalino, Chair of the Academic Senate and Professor of Anthropology, and Brian Kite, Interim Dean of the School of Theater, Film, and Television and Professor of Theater. Our first pair of hooding marshals this evening will be Eileen Strempel, Dean of the Herb Alpert School of Music, Abel Valenzuela, Jr., Interim Dean of Social Sciences and Professor of Labor Studies, Urban Planning, and Chicana, Chicano, and Central American Studies, our second pair of hooding marshals are Adriana Galvan, Dean of Undergraduate Education and Professor of Psychology, and Renata Lux, Associate Dean in the Division of Graduate Education and Professor of Dentistry. And our third pair of hooding marshals consist of Anastasia Lucedu Sideras, Interim Dean of the Luskin School of Public Affairs and Professor of Urban Planning, and Marissa Lopez, Associate Dean in the Division of Graduate Education and professor of English and Chicana, Chicano, and Central American Studies. Thank you. You may all be seated. I would also like to recognize other campus and university leaders who are here to celebrate this joyous occasion. Please rise as I call your name. Roger Wakimoto, Vice Chancellor for Research and Creative Activities. Alexandra Minna Stern, Dean of the Division of Humanities. Christina Christie, Dean of the School of Education and Information Studies, Lynn John, Dean of the School of Nursing, and Yolanda Gorman, Senior Advisor to the Chancellor and Chief of Staff. Thank you for being here today. You may be seated. I now have the pleasure to acknowledge and introduce you to our degree candidate processional marshals who open today's ceremony. Our first marshal is Mohsen Ali. Today, Mohsen will be awarded a Doctorate of Philosophy in Islamic Studies. Mohsen earned his Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science from the University of Chicago. The title of Mohsen's dis dissertation is Modern Islamic Historiography, a Global Perspective from South Asia. His doctoral dissertation was a global history of modern Muslim historical writing. It focused on the approaches of Muslim scholars in colonial and post-colonial India who wrote historical works in Arabic and Urdu. While at UCLA, Mohsen was the recipient of numerous awards, including the Dissertation Year Fellowship and the Foreign Language and Areas Fellowship for Persian. Mohsen was also in both the Graduate Research Mentorship Program and the Graduate Summer Research Mentorship Program. During his time at UCLA, Mohsen has served as an instructional design and technology assistant for Near Eastern languages and cultures, as well as lecturer for the Global Islam Cluster, which is a year-long course for first-year undergraduate students. Currently, he is the instructional design and outreach specialist for the Humanities and Social Sciences Department of the Eugene and Maxine Rosenfeld Management Library and the Charles E. Young Research Library. Please well, join me in welcoming Wilson. Good afternoon and welcome. And to my fellow graduates, congratulations on completing a remarkable journey of intellectual exploration and earning the highest degree in your field of study. My PhD journey started in the fall of 2015. And my choice of UCLA was guided less by lofty intellectual motives than by a personal motive, 
I wanted to stay close to a woman I had met earlier that year. She captivated me and bewildered me. And a year into my PhD, we had tied the knot. Her love was the main source of my strength and resilience throughout my graduate studies. She could have cared less. She could not have cared less about the details of my dissertation. <laughs> but she made sure that I cared the most about family. She forced me to be a better sibling to my older brother and my younger sister and a better son to my mom and dad. I am indebted to my parents for the sacrifices, unending care, and sincere prayers. My father, an immigrant from Pakistan, never had the opportunity to uh, attend college. He supported my indulgence in graduate studies, even as he did not fully comprehend what it entailed. My mother, an immigrant from India, motivated me to finish my dissertation by incessantly asking me when I would finish my degree. <laughs> year after year, for seven years. <laughs> I'm similarly grateful to my mother-in-law and father-in-law. My father-in-law took a personal interest in my research, and most of my writing was fueled by food cooked by my mother-in-law. Many of us might feel ambivalent about the next phase after graduation, given the diminished economic and social value of, a gra of graduate degrees. Universities are facing funding cuts, researchers have fewer opportunities for funding, state governments are attempting to ban tenure. But it is imperative for us to communicate the value of knowledge and expertise at this precise moment. I want to challenge my fellow graduates to share your research and insights about the diversity of cultures, the complexity of, of human behavior with, uh, with the wider public, to engage in dialogue and collaboration with people from different backgrounds and perspectives, especially people outside of academia. One of the keys to making a difference is cultivating and investing in relationships. Relationships with your peers, mentors, colleagues, collaborators, partners, friends, family, and community. Relationships that support you, inspire you, challenge you, frustrate you, and enrich you. Human connections and relationships are necessary for a meaningful and healthy life. They are also necessary for changing minds. Because people rarely are rarely moved by facts and logical rigor alone. They are moved by stories, emotions, values, and trust. They are moved by people they care about. I want to close with a few verses of the Quran. As surely as the passage of time Humanity is wasting away, except those who keep faith, do acts of social good, and urge each other towards truth and perseverance. Keep, keep working, working collaborati collaboratively, collaboratively towards, towards truth and, and persevere. persevere. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Mosin, for those inspiring words. Um, now I'd like to introduce our second marshal, Jessica Bremner. Today, Jessica will be awarded her Doctorate of Philosophy in Urban Planning. She earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in Latin American Studies from Tulane University and a dual Master of Arts in Urban Planning and Latin American Studies from UCLA. The title of her dissertation is Thirsty by Design, Regulating Water Access in the Coachella Valley. Jessica's research interests lie at the intersection of spatial justice, gender, housing, participatory practices, and the environment. Her most recent work examines the processes that shape the spatial inequality of water, of, sorry, of water access in the Coachella Valley. Jessica's dissertation builds from six years of working in the Coachella Valley with Konkui Design Initiative, a nonprofit community development and design firm based in Los Angeles, USA, and Nairobi, Kenya. During her time at UCLA, Jessica was the recipient of numerous awards, including the Babbitt Dissertation Fellowship, the Dissertation Year Fellowship, and the David and Mariana Fisher Fellowship. Jessica was also a co-managing editor of the Critical Planning Journal and served as a member of the Urban Planning Curriculum Committee. She is currently an assistant professor in the Department of Geography, Geology, and Environment at California State University, Los Angeles. Please join me in welcoming her.
Hi, friends. <laughs> Hi, family. Hi, mentors. <laughs> um, I'm feeling overjoyed to be here with you. Truthfully, though, uh, a few months ago, I wasn't planning on attending this year's graduation. It's not because I don't believe my accomplishments aren't worth celebrating. In fact, I have a lot to celebrate. This past year, I gave birth. Yeah. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> First, I gave birth on July 8th after around six hours of progressively intense and unmedicated pain, my son Enzo arrived with my husband and mom by my side. And then I gave birth a second time in December. This time, labor was much longer. I'd estimate that this second labor took about five years. <laughs> and I would not have made it through this labor without my advisors, cohort members, colleagues, family, and friends helping me along the way. There are many similarities between giving birth to a human and giving birth to a dissertation. Both require months long incubation periods. Both sometimes involve doctors not believing you. <laughs> and both are made easy when right people are there to support you throughout the experience. My newborn provided five months of extremely structured writing time stolen in between feedings, poops, his, not mine, and sleep, also his, not mine. But thanks to my community, I was able to file my dissertation in December and start a job in January. These two very unceremonious events marked the completion of my doctorate here at UCLA. I was hesitant to attend graduation this year because I'm actually embarrassed to celebrate myself. But thanks to my good friend, cohort member, and fellow graduate here today, Daniel Iwama, um, I realized that marking the passage of time is not just a celebration of individual accomplishment, but a communal one. Many people characterize the journey through a PhD program as socially isolating. And for some, it can be quite lonely. But it is also one of the most communal endeavors we get the chance to participate in. Completing a dissertation requires creating new knowledge. And this knowledge production is inherently cumulative. We build on knowledge that was constructed before us. And we do this not alone, but through a practice of commoning with our mentors, our classmates, and our colleagues. This space of knowledge building lacks geographic and time boundaries. We get to communicate with those no longer alive and those that are yet to be born. And that means we are part of a boundless community where we get to have fun asking questions and answering those questions. But lately, ensuring that this knowledge is open and accessible to all, that it is boundaryless, that it is communal, is becoming increasingly difficult. Like babies, the ideas and knowledge in dissertations need a community to grow. That means as we graduate, our work is just beginning. Labor was painful. Mothering our knowledge will be challenging but it is necessary. Our world requires it of us, and our responsibility to our community demands it of us. So congratulations to everyone here for giving birth this past year. I can't wait to see how our babies grow. Thank you so much, Jessica, and double congratulations to you. Um, one more round of applause for our amazing student marshals. Thank you. We are gathered here in the iconic Royce Hall 
to confer doctoral degrees in a time-honored tradition of an in-person doctoral hooding ceremony. In person is something I no longer take for granted, so we should all celebrate that. Um, this year, you are one of over 700 students who will earn their doctorate from UCLA. Congratulations. Woo! <laughs> Today's momentous occasion honors and applauds you and your accomplishments. On behalf of the UCLA faculty, I want to express my gratitude and pride in all that you have accomplished at UCLA. To the professors and mentors who have recognized your potential, encouraged you along the way, and inspired you to reach your goal, thank you and congratulations. I share the stage with some of you today, beaming with pride as you helped your students earn their new title as doctors. To the family and friends who have provided you with unrelenting support in your doctoral journey, congratulations, and we are happy that you get to celebrate this occasion. <laughs> to the graduates, take this time to reflect, cherish this moment, and celebrate your outstanding achievement, not only in your education and career, but also in your life. Think of all the people who lent their support in one form or another. May I please ask all of the graduates today to stand, turn around, and look to someone who is here for you today and say thank you. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Thank you, you may be seated. <laughs> 